ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first Monster Talk charity live event presented by Monster Talk. I am your host, Jackson Morris, alongside the fabulous Jack Meredith, my commentator co-host for tonight. Jack, we have a star-studded field, an amazing track for tonight's incredible monster truck event, all for a good cause. How do you feel about tonight's event and what are we going to see out here on this beautiful track in Las Vegas, Nevada? Well, only time is going to tell because when you're in Las Vegas, you know it's a time for big monster trucking action. This stadium has so much history to it. The city never sleeps. I can tell you, you're not going to be able to sleep after tonight. The adrenaline's going to be flowing. It's going to be a really good time and for a great cause. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to actually bring in the guy who is the reason why this is all coming together, Mr. Andrew uh, Skinner. Andrew, let me ask you about this amazing cause, uh, this 12 Days of Giving campaign. I know we've been promoting it on uh, Monster Talk. Uh, throughout a bunch of news videos and as you can see on screen now there's this graphic in the description of this stream there is a link to this campaign donate now we will be shouting you out during the show again this event is for a great cause so make sure to donate but coming back to you Andrew talk about this amazing cause and what we are doing in the Toys and Tots Foundation yeah I'd love to talk about it um but everyone's referring to me by a whole whole set ton of names tonight, so it's going to be really funny doing all that sort of stuff. Anyway, the donation is for Toys for Tots. We're doing a great thing by donating money and donating it straight over to the Toys for Tots Foundation. I am really excited because I really had no idea that this was going to go anywhere. I really started out and was just like, you know, this might go somewhere. I had no ambitions, and here we are soaring past $1,000 with our new goal of $1,500. Absolutely. As you can see on screen now, again, link to the campaign is in the description. If you'd like a shout out from the host of tonight's event, please donate now and we will shout you out during the event. Again, this is for a great cause and we're really excited to bring you more action. We'll be back shortly with some previews for tonight's amazing lineup of drivers and the racing bracket preview. Stay tuned, more coming very shortly.
these trucks and there are some trucks being flashed on in the back but let's take a look at a beautiful truck tonight's amazing event we're gonna start off with our first three robert o'neill is driving crustacean john doe will be driving predator and richard Bless will be behind the wheel of avenger Max Silver and Scooby Doo, and the incomparable Garrett Hansen in the advance out of our screen. Moving on to our next set of trucks Ewan Ford, the man, the myth, the legend, behind the wheel of Spider Man and Monster Mutt on Gravedigger 14, a very interesting chassis that will be driven by Trevor Hellings. And Ethan Isaac will be behind the wheel of Metal Militia. The veteran Chadwick Gearfoot drives Wolverine. And Armando Barbosa in Northern Nightmare follows him. Connor Bauer in Iron Man, Man of Steel. Up next, we have Ryan Pals, Captain America, an awesome looking truck. Christian Lenoud, Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. And for the first time that we get to see in WMB, it's the Black El Toro Loco with Tim Clapper. Jaden Page takes it behind the wheel through this little crusader. And the one and only Blake Thompson drives Captain Curtis. And of course, Blair Lockhart in the fan trade for the blue front. Moving down to our final four of Mari Juanez in Grave Digger the Legend, followed by Marcus Santana in Son of a Digger. And we saved the best for last year. Danny Werewolf driving Max and Destruction and Sean Ryan. One and only now, that was a pretty amazing lineup, and Jack, I have to ask, what are your thoughts about this incredible lineup of uh, drivers and awesome trucks that we have here for tonight's amazing event? Well, I think you know, a safe bet would be Blake Thompson, he's a great all-rounder of, of a driver, he's got championship experience, he's a guy that's really thrown down on a lot of these you know, amazing weeks of seeing him. I was always a veteran. He's always going to try and win. I, I say never count him out. He's been around just long enough. You know, I know he thinks he has, you know, some, some demons, some gremlins on the track. I tell you, he's 100% focused. He can make this thing happen. Of course, Danny, Danny Werewolf also has championship experience. Well, not only that, but he is the creator of these trucks. You know, he may have an advantage uh, driving this. Not only that, but representing a decade of destruction with Max D. Now, I do want to talk about qualifying. We did see some interesting stuff. So let's take a look at two things that I wanted to talk about. The first, right here, as you can see on screen right now, this was a qualifying quali uh, excuse me, qualifying pass between Christian Lanou to Team Hot with Firestorm at the bottom of your screen and Jaden Page in Lucas or Crusader. Watch what happens here with Team Hot with Firestorm. A whole lot of bad happens right there, I'll tell you. Absolutely, and he did have to fix that for the event. But let's take a look at your fastest qualifier. Uh, before we take a look at our bracket for tonight, we preview that. We only have about five minutes before we start. As you can see, bottom of your screen, Danny Werewolf in Manx D running the old body against Armando Barbosa in Northern Nightmare. Take a look at this. Manx D crosses the line, but look at Northern Nightmare. He went way up north and I was going down south here <laughs> at the end of the track. Absolutely. And I mean, that was a crazy pass. Do you think that the conditions, uh, or I should say that qualifying uh, will help prepare these drivers for the insane racing bracket that we have here? Well, it's hard to say. I think really it's a matter of just exiting that turn properly. You know, it's the first part of the race, it's the hardest part is the turn, and the exit's always the hardest part for drivers. That's what I've seen there in those two runs there. You gotta hit that, that racing uh, jump square. Otherwise, it's just it's gonna be over. Well, not only that, but you do get a penalty if you don't get your front two tires up the face of the race ramp. Uh, even if you really across the line, that is a penalty, so drivers gonna have to make sure that they uh, get straight and lined up for that race 
uh, that racing lane before they hit the jump. Here's our bracket here, the left side, first race, he's actually been delayed, Connor Bauer, oh actually no, he does seem to be here, I am getting word that his truck has been fixed, he had a lot of truck issues, uh, he should be here, the first race, Captain America versus Iron Man, the battle of the two Marvel trucks, to start tonight's event off, then we have Hot Wheels and Medusa, and Grinder and Scooby-Doo, on the right side, that was for round one. We have Gravedigger the Legend versus Blue Thunder, Spider-Man and Son of a Digger, and Avenger versus Wolverine. The winner of the Legend of Blue Thunder faces Captain's Curse, Crusader and Monster Mutt will be another race. The winner of Spider-Man and Son of a Digger will face Predator, John Doe, your third fastest qualifier, and Tim Clapper will face either Chadwick Deerfoot or uh, Richard Ulas. Going back to the other side, uh, the fastest qualifier facing off against Max D, or sorry, excuse me, Captain America, or Iron Man. Then there's the race, Northern Nightmare Metal Militia. Hot Wheels and Medusa, one of those two, the winner will face Crustacean. And then ending round two off on the left side of the bracket, the Grinder and Scooby Doo. Now, before we get ready for tonight's event, I do have to finally ask. Uh, what are your thoughts about the bracket, and are you excited for tonight's amazing event, all for a good cause? Well, I'll tell you, looking at that 22 trunk bracket is quite a headache, but I'll t other than that, I mean, I think really what it comes down to is it's, it's going to be the turn, and I think with a, with a track like this, it's, it's really a game of chance at any one of these races. I think the conditions are always fine, no matter how you handle that turn, and that's really going to be an exciting factor in so many of these races, is how you get across that, that final jump. Well, fans, we have about two minutes before the start of the show. Get your popcorn, get your food, whatever. Make sure to donate to uh, the campaign. Again, uh, link in the description. But we will be back uh, very shortly with the start of the show. Stay tuned. Get ready for the first ever Monster Talk charity live event. Hey, we got a really quick donation here. First donation of the night is from Bradford Curlin with a $10 donation. We thank you so much. So that's his first name.
welcome to the Monster Talk charity live event fully presented by Monster Talk. We are ready to start our tonight's uh, competition with the racing competition, the world racing competition for the 12 Days of Giving campaign. I am super excited to see this incredible race as first up, as I was saying earlier, uh, Jack, Connor Bauer has fixed his truck, he had issues uh, with it in qualifying, he didn't even qualify, I think maybe some transmission issues, but he is ready to compete in our first race, it's Captain America and Iron Man, two great drivers, two great trucks, Jack, uh, he's, I mean, I'm not really sure if you're uh, familiar with these two drivers, uh, but what do you think about our first race before we get them ready and lined up the first race of time? I think it's a dream matchup for comic book fans and monster book fans alike. I think it's, you know, it's a battle of the Marvel brand. It should be a marvelous race. How about that? Ah, I see what you did there. That was funny. Well, uh, we're taking a look at this uh, racing track while we wait for the drivers to get ready. Uh, as you can see, it's Vegas style as per usual. So we're going to bring it back to round one of racing. It is going to be, as I said, uh, Ryan Poust behind the wheel of Captain America. And he will face off against Connor Bauer in Iron Man. His drivers are getting staged and ready to go for the first race. You can see just in the corner there, pulling up to the line. So they're ready to go no. racing. Here it goes, the there first go. race. Big lead for Iron Man. Connor Bauer keeps it tight, uh -oh. knocks the car. We're good. And he, oh, little bit cattywampus at the end, but he is going to take the win. Connor Bauer takes the win here for the first race of the charity event. That's going to be another fact we didn't mention is being able to avoid the obstacles when you're done with your race because there's a lot of them out there. That is true. Well, I did hear rumblings. Uh, Andrew, I believe you have another donation. We actually, in fact, do have another donation. It's actually from Connor himself. Uh, well, <laughs> Ten dollar donation. We absolutely love that. We encourage all the competitors here to donate. I donated at the start of the campaign. And I really would like everyone else to. Fans, we'll be back with another race very shortly.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with our next race. There has been some changes with uh, the bracket itself to account for some of the trucks that aren't here. But coming up next, we have the Battle of the Anderson Trucks. It's Marcus Santana in Son of a Digger, and he will be facing Amari Nuanez in Grave Digger the Legend. As drivers get ready for the next race. Uh, they get ready for the next race of round one to make it into round two. So a great race before. And they are off. Oh, late only one of them is. Well, a late stop by Marcus Santana. Is going to be a fairly easy victory for Grave Digger the Legend. A tough break for the Son of a Digger team. I know he's going to want to throw down and freestyle after that disappointing race finish. Yeah, it's hard to say what was going on there. I mean, you always want to try and get that light as best you can. I mean, any anything could have happened. Absolutely. Andrew, I think we have another donation as well. We have multiple donations. Both of the drivers... Uh... Let's see. Amari? What is his last name? Nuanas. Nuanas. He donated $20, where it's from the racing family. And on top of that, too, um, Marcus donated $15. That's great. Have any others, or is that it for now? Oh, we have one more as we speak, actually. Trevor <laughs> Hellings donated another $15. That's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for supporting this stream and supporting the donation. We'll be back with our next race of round one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our next race of round number one. It is going to be Drew Darrow in Medusa going up against Spider-Man Ewan Ford. This is going to be an awesome race as drivers get staged. Now, Jack, before this race starts, I wanted to ask, is there any strategy that these drivers got to have in terms of staging in the starting boxes? It's, you know, I really, I think it's just, you gotta be on your toes. You gotta have good reflexes. You know, as far as strategy goes, they got a pretty good even start right there. 
Medusa has a commanding lead right now. Lags a little bit. Seems fairly even coming into the final oh, turn. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a comeback. Looks like Spider-Man, but I do want to confirm that with our race officials. I think it is. It was. All right. Now that is there. a great comeback right there. He was way behind on the straightaway. <laughs> made it up in the turn because Medusa bogged down a bit too much. He got the win that way. And that's, like I said, the game changer is coming across that final ramp. And that's what he managed to do. I mean, as you said, you know, what stays in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah, I'm that's saying. what they say. That's exactly what they say. Well, that is what they say, but I don't think that is what you said. Anyway. What an amazing race between Spider-Man and Medusa. I do want to check once again. Andrew, do we have any donations? No, we currently do not have any new donations, but we are up to 90 concurrent viewers. That is awesome. Fans, thank you so much. We'll be back with another race very shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, starting off around number two, once again, I do want to point out that the racing bracket has changed significantly from what we originally showed. This is to account for drivers that aren't here yet or uh, trucks that are having issues, but we are here to start round two in this race. We will see Danny Wellwolf in Max D, the fastest qualifier, take on Connor Bauer in Iron Man. This is going to be an awesome race, and I'm excited to see this. This is the first time we get to see Denny in this event. Getting revved at this stage. And they are off. Down Connor's Thunder Rally. Cut out for him right now. Absolutely. Oh, but he's holding up. Now. What an incredible turn by Connor. I think oh he just took the gosh. win, the upset of the night. Wow. Not what I expected to see at all. No, not at all. I mean, Denny was absolutely hauling down Thunder Alley. Couldn't get the job done. Fans, give it up for Connor Bauer in Iron Man. And Andrew, any more donations? I gotta ask. Hey, we currently don't have any donations, but that was the best race we've had so far this night. It, that was awesome. Fans, give it up for Denny and Connor.
Coming up next for our next round two race. It is going to be Armando Barbosa Monster Truck Reels, ladies and gentlemen. Armando is here. He's driving Northern Nightmare. And the other truck, Ethan Isaac Metal Militia. Now, these two are really good with WMB. I really love their driving style. And I'm excited. They've done fairly well in other WMB leagues like Roar SES and uh, Major League Monster Jam. So they come down Thunder Rally. It's fairly close. Oh, Metal Militia! Uh oh. He flips over. It's going to be a fairly easy victory for Northern Nightmare and Armando Big Barbosa. Metal Militia. Even in defeat. I mean, he's still going to send it. It's all part of the Metal Militia brand. Fans, give it up for both drivers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next for round number two, let's give it up for Robert O'Neill in Crustacean. And he will be facing off against Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. I mean, I love this Team Hot Wheels truck. And as you can see, uh, or as we talked about before, he had a crazy wreck in qualifying. He's fixed the truck. He's ready to go. I'm excited to see what he can do. We can only hope that lightning does not strike twice. Well... This is Vegas, so I guess we'll see. But looking right now, Robert O'Neill commanding lead. Oh! And Robert O'Neill takes the win. I do want to point out that Robert okay. O'Neill... Oh, Hot Wheels! Good save. I did want to point out, too, that Robert O'Neill was the, I think, fourth or third fastest qualifier. So, it's to me, it's also not surprising that he did well uh, in this race. Big congratulations to him as he moves on to round number two. I did want to ask, Andrew, I think I heard, is there another donation? We, in fact, do have another donation from Fernando Martinez. He says, awesome idea for an event and amazing production quality. Keep up the scene alive and doing it for a great cause. We thank you so much for the donation. That is absolutely amazing, guys. Fernando Martinez, the El Toro Loco driver. Fernando, thank you so much for donating uh, and I mean, wow, I am flabbergasted at this. We are getting so many donations. This is absolutely amazing. A better turnout than I ever could have hoped for. Fans, we'll be back with more amazing Monster Truck action. Stay tuned for our next race. And remember to donate. The campaign is in the description. If you want a shout out, there's your opportunity. Fans, we'll be back with another race.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we wait for our next race, I did hear that we have two more donations. Andrew, let's hear them. Well, I'll tell you one donation that we got is from Mutant Zoomies. He messaged me just now and said, hey, we might send you a little bit more here in a little while, but for now, here's a five. And that's pretty cool of him. That's great. And we have there's another, another person. Oh, I apologize. There's another <laughs> no, person you're... that's called Jack, uh, Monster Truck Times. The Monster Truck Times. You can't give much, but he is very happy to donate. Happy holidays. We thank you very much. Well, you know what? Even just a little bit is, is you know, it goes a long way. And I mean, with how much money we've raised so far, I mean, th this does go a long way. Do you want to ask, actually, while we wait for Gravedigger, who's having some engine issues, might be a buy run for Grinder. But while we wait for that, um, what what is our campaign total up to currently at the moment? Our actually, what's really funny is while you were saying that, we got another donation, a $30 oh. donation from Jacob Earns, is that his name? I apologize if I mispronounce your name. He says, hashtag elves for Elvis. We love that. Thank you guys so <laughs> much for continuing to donate. Did you actually say end up saying how much before we start the race? Yeah, um, let's say how much. So right now we have $1,246. I'm probably, to be honest, if this keeps going at the rate that we're going, I'm gonna raise the price. But I am super happy for your guys' generosity. I think that this is going to go a long way. And as you can see there, that is the buy run for... I believe that's the buy run for Grinder. Yes, that was the buy run for Grinder. So Grinder, unfortunately, Gravedigger could not make it out as we move on to our next race of round number one. Tough break for Gravedigger. We'll see if Sean Ryan can make it back for freestyle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next for round number two, we are almost at the end of round number two. We have Chadwick Deerfoot inside the Wolverine. He is going to be facing Amari Nuanes in Grave Digger the Legend. Now, he advanced on uh, before from Marcus Santana. Let's see what he's got here. Uh, who are you going for, uh, Jack? Who do you think is going to take the win? I got to go with the Grave Digger. Oh! Well, I think and you might be I right. Guess that was a good <laughs> Seems to be some lighting issues, maybe. We'll have to talk with the officials after the race. Not sure anything wrong yeah, is going on that there. That's not moving. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have a look. Fans, we'll be back and figure out what went wrong with that race.
All right, fans, so there was a starting issue with that race. Wolverine, you know, they have the starting tree. For whatever reason, the lights weren't lining up. So Chadwick didn't actually know when to go. So that is a fault with the starting tree. Uh, so we will be rerunning the race. But before we do, uh, Andrew, how do we have any new donations? We do have a new donation. Um... We don't know the name of this person. They wanted to be anonymous, but they donated $10 for the cause. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much to that anonymous person who donated. We appreciate all the donations here tonight. And so I think we're going to bring back the race between Chadwick and Amari. I do have to ask, Jack, do you think that this restaging and this rerun of the race is going to affect Amari's mindset coming into this race? You know, it's hard to say. I think it's going to make Chadwick drive a heck of a lot harder, that's for sure. We can see they slinging it down Thunder Alley. Nice turn for Wolverine. He's already in there. And he is going to take the win over Amari. Amari might be spitting chips right now. But that was a great finish from both drivers. Fans give it up. For Amari Nuanes and your race winner, Chadwick Deerfoot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the third to, I believe, the third to last race of round number two. We have over in, I believe, the left lane, it is Trevor Hellings in Monster Mart on the Gravedigger 14 chassis, and he is going to go up against Jaden H in the Lucas or Crusader. Now, uh, Jack, I'm not sure how familiar you are with uh, the Gravedigger chassis, but can you quickly tell us a little bit about Gravedigger 14 and the potential disadvantages heading into this race? Well, it's, it's, it's a truck that's been around for a very long time. It's an old school oh. Gravedigger. It's the first ever PEI one. Uh, it's not meant for this kind of body, but hey, it's doing a pretty good job right now. Well, considering he has an unfathomable... Oh! Crusader's done! Oh my done. gosh. A huge wreck for the Lucas or Crusader. Monster Mart Trevor Hellings advances on. What a tough break from the Lucas or Crusader. Fans give it up for both drivers. Wow, that was an insane wreck. Not in Thunder Alley, but when Monster Mart was on the straightaway, and then we come back and all of a sudden he's cartwheeling down the track. So something must have really gone wrong. We'll have to see if we can talk to uh, Jaden H about that crazy wreck. Fans, give it up for the Lucas Oil Crusader driver, Jaden H.
All right, coming up next for our second to last round two race here tonight, it is Spider-Man Ewan Ford returning from round one. And for the first time tonight, we get to see the third fastest qualifier in a truck that I'm sure that many probably expected to be at the bottom. But when you hear the driver, it's John Doe in Predator. He is such a yeah. phenomenal driver. And they're off! A veteran going up against a very skilled, very skilled driver. They're very even right now. Absolutely. Predator goes a little wide. Can he make up the gap to the finish? He Predator did. takes the win. That was one of the best races of the entire night. I mean, shout out to both John Doe and um, Ewan Ford. That was a great race. Now, I do and, have... And the shoes... Oh. The shoe's on the other foot now for Ewan because now it, he couldn't come back uh, to finish that race at the very end. Now John Doe did. How, how funny is that? The tables have turned. This is what happens at Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Expect the unexpected. Now, I do have to ask Andrew. I believe we have some new donations. Let's hear it. We, in fact, do. Hey, uh, Project Rod here. Love what you guys are doing. I think this is awesome. Currently watching this while I work on Season 2 of my Monster Jam Steel Titan sign-up series. Keep up the good work, and I hope the donations exceed the goal. You donated $20. Thank you very much. Thank you, Project Rod. Appreciate it. Love your stuff. Love your series. I do have seen it on Instagram. Great stuff. Make sure to go check out his stuff. We'll be back with the final race of round number two. Stay tuned. We'll be back. As we are here for round number two, once again, the final race, it is going to be uh, Richard Rulas in Avenger against Tim Clapper in the Black El Toro Loco. I love both of these trucks running all new designs. Of course, Avenger running the World Finals 14 scheme and the Black El Toro Loco. As I said, this is the first time we get to see it in WNB. Or well, the new version, I should specify. And they're off! Very even coming down the straightaway, Jack. Who's going to take it? We'll have to find out right oh! now. It's the moment of truth. Oh, my God! It's going to be it... Tim Clapper. I, I was just about to say, I think that was a Tim Clapper finish. And, wow. What? Oh, goodness. It was, it was oh, no. About... Oh, dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, no. Ooh, he looks hurt. Richard, <laughs> Richard, no, Ru Richard Roulette with some it. big damage in Thunder Alley. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, Andrew Hey, real quick, I would love... I, I hate... <laughs> I'm sorry that no, I interrupted you're fine. you. I would love to give a little bit of credit to my teammate here. Uh, his name's Savage. He donated, he donated a dollar. He doesn't have a lot of money, right? But that is my teammate. He is an awesome dude. Thank you so much. Well, fans, what an incredible round two that we have had so far here tonight as we will be back with round three very shortly.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, as racing starts to wind down, we are ready for round number three. We have some of the fastest drivers that have made it to this point in the racing bracket. And what better way to start it off with two of the most impressive that we've had tonight, Armando Barbosa, Northern Nightmare, and Connor Bauer, Iron Man. These two have faced off many times on many other uh, circuits, mainly the Carnage Tour. Shout out to them. They just finished their season, and they are going racing here in Las Vegas. Here we go. Seems to be even wide turn by Connor. Can he make up the ground? No. It's all Northern Nightmare. Armando Barbosa taking the win. He, in my honest opinion, I think he's the favorite to win racing here tonight. Give it up for Connor Bauer and Armando Barbosa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next for our second round three race it is going to be between the Advance Auto Parts grinder Garrett Hansen and Robert O'Neill in Crustacean. Now, Jack, we've seen these drivers enough tonight to at least kind of know what their driving style is like. Uh, who do you think is going to take the uh, racing win here and move on to the semifinals? You know, I might go with the bolder pick of Advanced Auto Parts Grinder, but it's just really for more familiar, uh, you know, familiarity with Garrett. I mean, they are both phenomenal drivers. Uh, Crustacean might have the advantage both in the lead and the straightaway, and he was a faster qualifier. Great turn by Garrett, but as I said, Crustacean advancing on into the final round of racing. I mean, this bracket we were just saying off the air before, it's turning out so much different than we ever could have expected. Yeah, and I think really that race right there was decided at the very beginning. I mean, with the, yeah, I mean, you know, you've got to cut that light great. You know, you either risk it for the biscuit, you either take off too early and get a disqualification, you either cut that light perfectly or... You know, you sleep at the line and you risk losing, but we've seen many comebacks tonight and we'll probably see many more. Give it up for Garrett Hansen and Robert O'Neill.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up for another race of round number three, we have Chadwick Deerfoot in Wolverine up against Trevor Hellings in Monster Mart. Now, these two have faced off in controlled carnage, uh, I would say a fair few times. Uh, obviously, they're driving completely different trucks. Trevor Hellings, I forget what he drives in uh, CC now, uh, but this is going to be an exciting race as they come down Thunder Alley. Chadwick is a man on a mission right here. He's got a fairly good lead coming into the final turn. Trevor keeps it tight. It is going to be Wolverine. Little squirrel at the end, but no major damage. Chadwick Deerfoot advancing on into the semifinals. What a race. Fans, give it up for Chadwick and Trevor. Ladies and gentlemen, before we hit the semifinals, we do have the last race of round number three. We have El Toro Loco, Tim Clapper, going up against John Doe in Predator. These two established veterans. I could see this race going either way. What are your thoughts, Jack? Yeah, I think it's really, it's, it's, I think uh, the analysis is quite accurate. But I, I will, I will go with my man, John. Now, these two, they've been around for Sim Monsters quite some time, but obviously WMB, it's still fairly new. It's not like it's, you know, like two days old new. It's more like two or three years. I'm sure Danny will slap me for not knowing how, <laughs> how yeah, long WMB has been around There's for. an aspect of getting accustomed to this thing, but, you know, I mean, these guys have been around long enough. I think, you know, from what we've seen so far, they're running pretty clean enough to really make a big mistake, and I don't think they'll be on the trucks. I don't think it goes beyond them. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I mean, this is a driver's track, and both finished fairly well. I think there's a dispute in the pits over which lane they're wanting to take. As you can just see in the distance, I'll see if we can zoom in the camera. You can see El Toro Luco lining up for that right side lane, and Predator lining up. It's kind of um, hidden by the trees. If they get staged, I did actually want to point that out for the first time uh, tonight. So they actually have to stage at the line. When that means, when they do that, that means they're ready. Afterwards, they get the green light from the staging tree. That is when they take off. Just like that, down Thunder Alley. Who will take the final semi-final spot? Oh my God! What a turn! I cost him. I don't want. Wow. I think a he had little... to flat foot it across that jump. I, I know. I mean, I think he had to really gun it to the end right there. The lag may have hindered him a bit. It is John Doe moving on. What a race. We'll be back with the semi-final round. Fans, get hyped.
And ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the campaign, the 12 Days of uh, Giving campaign, uh, Mr. Andrew, I think you had something you wanted to say to shout out the top donator uh, for well, your campaign. <laughs> that's exactly right. Steve Perry of Versus Monster Trucks, the host of Versus Monster Trucks, donated $250. But this is a little while ago. I just wanted to come out here and just shout out for him. Let him know, hey, like that stuff's really awesome. And we're really, really happy that you decided to be so generous. You gave us this big uh, donation. We really appreciate it. Well, and shout out to SPHRA and WMTCS. I was about to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love the Versus Monster Trucks tour. And to be honest, I think that this donation has really helped bring this campaign a long way. It's helped bring it to i mean the original goal was one thousand dollars we're now reaching uh up to fifteen hundred so he's really helped bring this a long way and we hit the one thousand goal before the 12 days even started we're on our ninth oh no sorry i'm i'm too far ahead i'm in australian time we're eight days in and we're clo we're closing in on our second uh goal right now i mean this has been a phenomenal event both for the fans watching it at home and more importantly the donations uh for this again it goes for toys for tots uh i mean we've just had an incredible night amazing night of racing and once again i want to thank every single person that has donated even a dollar you know we like to thank the top contributors but even donating a dollar it means that it goes a long way to uh the toys for tots foundation and once again from the bottom of my heart thank you so much this means a lot and i want to keep bringing you guys amazing action but we are getting ready for our first semi-finals race of the night we did have to drop the race between who was it i believe it was armando in northern nightmare and crustacean robert o'neill now it is gonna be uh john doe and uh, Chadwick Deerfoot. So we'll see how this race pans out. Uh, Jack, while we wait, early predictions uh, with our semifinals now locked out. We have Northern Nightmare and Crustacean. That's going to be the next race. We have Wolverine and Predator. Who do you think is going to take the win here tonight? Um, well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking probably Crustacean. But with Predator and Wolverine, I can't even possibly give you a winner for that one. That's just going to be a great race for us to all sit back and watch. Well, I haven't been involved in Sim Monsters or the, hell, even the Rigs of Rod scene in general. These two have been around for a very long time. So I think this is going to be an extremely close race. As they head down Thunder Alley. It is about dead even. Oh, man. It's going to be a dogfight to the finish. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't my. even know. I can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. Wow. We are going to get a uh, call from the officials to take a look at who won that race. I, As we said, I can't even pinpoint who even won that. We'll take a look in just a second, fans. Give it up for both drivers.
All right, fans, so we do have the official winner of this race. And just so you guys can see how close this race was, we're actually going to bring an image up onto the uh, screen. As you can see here, I mean, wow, look at that. That Look how close <laughs> that race was. That was from our official timing system. Fans, we are going to give the win to John Doe in Predator I mean, what an insane race. <laughs> wow. I am it's flabbergasted. It's literally a pixel. Literally one pixel to side I, that I race. Mean, yeah, look at that. This is, you know, this is a testament to how amazing our timing systems are for this event. That we're able to distinguish the winners from, you know, just an image like that. I mean, that's insane. But we do have our next race of the semi-finals to determine who will face John Doe in the final round. It's Armando Barbosa in Northern Nightmare, and we will also see Crustacean with Robert O'Neill. I did want to ask, and I feel like I should have been paying more attention to this, is Armando in a different lane that he hasn't been in all night? I'm trying to figure out. I'm not sure if he's been in this lane. Might be a disadvantage, might be an advantage. Could be playing mind games. But Amando is leading right now. What a turn by Crustacean. To the finish. Oh, huge crash. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. That's no good. That team is going to have to fix that truck for freestyle. It is going to be Amando Barbosa moving on to the final round of racing. What a turnout. Fans, give it up for Robin O'Neill and... Amanda Barbosa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the pinnacle of tonight's racing competition, the championship race between Northern Nightmare, Armando Barbosa, and John Doe in Predator. These two have advanced on from as early as round one in the bracket. Who will take the win for the first ever Monster Talk Cherry event? As they come down Thunder Rally, it's dead even. Armando's got to bring it right here if he wants to win it. To the finals! I think John Doe just won! It's Predator. Predator Ladies winner. Ladies and that gentlemen, give it up for Al <laughs> I almost said Alan Piso, not Alan Piso. John Doe in it's Predator. It is his truck. Wow. Oh, and he <laughs> biffed the... <laughs> that was his celebration, the biffing the, <laughs> the Thunder Rally. <laughs> What, the wall. An <laughs> what an incredible result from the Predator team. Fans, give it up for John Doe, your racing winner behind the wheel of Predator.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here with Mr. John Doe, the winner of the racing competition here tonight. How are you feeling, John, after that amazing win behind the wheel of the Predator Monster Truck? Well, feeling a little lucky. I mean, <laughs> we signed up in Predator with the thought of, you know, just showing up and having fun, but kind of fell in our favor early on in the bracket, and we were able to come out on top. So, was there any it sort was. of? Sorry, sorry to cut you off there. Was there any like specific strategy that you had uh, coming into this uh, event in terms of racing? Because I know you finished, I believe, third in qualifying, which I think maybe some people were surprised by. But in, uh, in my honest opinion, I wasn't surprised. You're a great driver, and Predator is such an amazing truck. Uh, but as I said, did you, did you have any like strategy coming into tonight's event? I wish I could say that I did, but honestly, I think it was just that I run so many laps on Sam Boyd Stadium that I just sort of have it burned into my brain. Probably not a good thing, but <laughs> winning yeah. is nice. Definitely don't want to burn anything into your brain. Final question that uh, from me, at least. Uh, is there any plans for freestyle here tonight? Yeah, um, it looks like we're going out early, so we're probably going to have to make a statement early on. Predator was all over the Crash Madness DVDs back in the early noughties, so we'll try to echo some of that. That's going to be awesome. Fans, give it up for John Doe, your racing winner in Predator. We will be back with uh, Freestyle in about 5 to 10 minutes. We're going to take a quick break, and as a reminder, while we're off... May as well donate to the campaign. Again, a link is in the description. Make sure to donate. We've had an amazing uh, set of people donate to this wonderful cause. I believe, John, you donated yourself. And uh, once again, when we'll come back, we will uh, let you guys, we'll shout you out. Again, thank you so much for the support. We are just getting started. Freestyle is coming up next. Stay tuned.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at the pinnacle of tonight's event. It is almost Monster Truck Freestyle, Monster Jam Freestyle. We are going to take a look at our freestyle order in just a moment. Now, we haven't accounted for some of the trucks that have continued to have issues throughout the night. Uh, so, we will see what um what happens with those trucks so right now we're gonna actually bring up the freestyle order now there are three different parts for freestyle that these drivers will compete on there will be extra obstacles added out on track uh for these drivers to hit so we're gonna take a look at that in just a second as we get ready to start freestyle. First out, Iron Man, Connor Bauer. Second up, Crustacean with Robert O'Neill, followed by Northern Nightmare, Armando Barbo uh, Barbosa. Wolverine in fourth, or coming out fourth, Metal Militia. Fifth, Predator, Monster Mart, and rounding out part one will be Avenger. On to the second part of the uh, freestyle order. We have Medusa, Spider-Man. Lucas or Crusader, Captain America, hopefully for the first time tonight, Captain's Curse, Grinder, El Toro Loco, and Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Rounding out the uh, event will be the top four, Grave Digger the Legend, Son of a Digger, and Max D. And now, as you can see at the bottom there, uh, more trucks may be added depending on if they can get their trucks fixed in time. Uh, before we get into freestyle, uh, Jack, any final thoughts on the amazing event we've had so far and uh, what we can expect in freestyle? Well, if racing is any indicator of quality, I mean, this is going to be an outstanding freestyle competition. We've got veterans and rookies and everything in the middle alike. I mean, that's that's the thing about these, that's great about these events is that you've got a lot of different eras coming together. You get to see how people approach these things differently and how their mindsets are different. And a lot of variety in trucks as well. I mean, there's so many obstacles to hit, so much to go for. You never really know what's going to happen. Absolutely. Well, fans, we will be back with our first freestyle of the night. Connor Bauer, Iron Man, starting us off in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up first for the freestyle competition, let's give it up for Connor Bauer in Iron Man as he's going to start freestyle off. I've heard that he's got some things to take care of today. Let's see what he's got here in freestyle. Wants to do a great freestyle for you fans sitting in at home. 
What an incredible freestyle track we have laid out for drivers tonight. And the whole world is at his feet right now. He's just got to figure out how he's going to use it. I mean, there are some huge jumps out here. There's a lot of different opportunities. Is there any uh, jump that uh, stands out to you in your mind? That one there is pretty good. I mean, it is a huge jump. It gives you great distance when you hit it the way that he did, and it gives you uh, a great launch from the backside as he's hitting the racing lane with some uh, steep and jumps right there. As you can see the timer on screen. Huge air right there. Got about 96 seconds left. Coming up on 30 seconds being filled. Some nice air. Oh, beautifully done. The tough part, I think, is going to be just like with racing is figuring out where you're going to land on some of these jumps. Yeah. You can get tripped up really, really easily. And depending on where you are on the track, there's... Oh, nice jump. There's a lot of recovery room, and there's also not a lot. Is he... Yeah, no, that center I... point is where you want to be. Yeah, absolutely. He's coming up on about a minute in freestyle... Iron Man having a great run so far. Oh! Oh Whoa, my goodness! That's not good. oh. oh! He keeps it going, loses the tailgate, but he's still going strong with 50 seconds left. Yeah, he lost his boosters there. Hey, I'm not sure how he's going <laughs> to fly now. First uh -oh, backflip, here, here we go! Here. Clean there landings. Wow. What a great start to freestyle. Yeah, I know. He's really thought about this, too. I mean, he's, he's you know, not carrying the fastest moment, oh! but he's very calculated with his hits. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. He didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, and that is over. the end with about 25 seconds left on the clock. What an incredible freestyle from Connor Bauer in Iron Man. Fans, give it up. I was just saying he's being very calculated with his hits, and that's the unfortunate part there is that he grazed that stack, and unfortunately, yeah. that was a lot of uh, a lot of pressure on that front end that was not meant to be there. It just ripped the whole thing out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he nose dived quite hard into that jump, as we're gonna hear from the judges to see what they give that run for Iron Man. Scores are coming in for Iron Man. It is a 25 out of 40. A great result to start freestyle off. Jack, that's a big number that these drivers got to beat. It's a big number, but it's not a big number. I think the judges are really looking for something special here tonight. I think they're going to make these guys work for it big time. Well, it is in the middle, so we will see how that fares. Coming out next, let's give it up for Robert O'Neill in Crustacean as he comes out next for freestyle. I'm excited to see what Robert's got. I'm surprised this thing's even running right now. He had a bad, bad crash. Oh, yeah. That was, I, I mean, that was incredible. That was such an in, insane crash in the semifinals. But, Jack, you got to give him props. He went all the way to the semifinals. Oh, of course. I mean, hey, Mr. Pinchy is not one to be counted out here. <laughs> that was the biggest air we've seen so far. Nice launches that truck now crustacean is a bit of a unique looking truck it handles a little differently compared to others um tell us a little bit about the chassis for crustacean oh well nice. to fit this lobster body it's got to be a little bit more compact and it's very i mean that that body when it rolls over it doesn't have much crunching oh. room because it's hugging the chassis so tightly yeah it, it gets a bit more slim a bit more narrow and that helps the truck a bit as far as you know reducing weight and it definitely looks good, too. I mean, this body is one of the best, in my opinion. Ooh, that was a little bit of a risky area to get caught up in as he cross-threads that center jump. 
I mean, this is a really unique body, and I think it's one of the best 3D bodies in the world of Monster Trucks. So he's gonna try something interesting now. That, that was that's beautiful. That does very well. I like the technicality that Robert has. Does slow down a little bit, but he does have to get up that C container we're, right there. We're seeing two sides of the same coin here. I was saying Iron Man was very clean and calculated with a lot of his hits. Now you see Robert here. He's kind of figuring Ooh. things out on the fly, and he's kind of a little awkward with some of these hits, but he's keeping it together yeah. so far. Uh, no, definitely. I completely agree. I mean, two different approaches. I mean, one oh Oh, my God. Uh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh there my goes goodness. the body. Yeah, half of it's just come off. I mean, I'm surprised well, that, was that gonna thing happen was anyways. held on. Yeah, I was about to say that thing's held on with like duct tape or uh, probably I don't know what it's called. What is the? Oh goodness! Don't worry about it. Oh, I mean, yeah, you good. Nice. <laughs> good point. It doesn't really matter. Robert O'Neill, 27 seconds left. A great run for Robert. Huge this air. Is great. Now he's getting comfortable. Oh. Uh oh, that's not oh. good. What? What is he's still save? Going. He, he tweaked the sway bars big time right there. Oh, nice. Slams on the rear with about 10 seconds left. I'm surprised that other than the body, this truck is completely fine. Backflip. And a clean landing to end his run. What a, what a freestyle from Robert O'Neill in Crustacean. Wow. Fans, what an incredible run. Give it up for Robert O'Neill. That was insane. We'll be back with the scores in just a little bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, before we start our next freestyle, I'm getting word there's another donation. Yeah, there currently is another donation. We would love to thank Bee Monsters, those guys who made all those awesome monster trucks. Thank you guys so much for not only a $10 donation, but a $100 donation wow. too. Those guys are awesome. Uh, Hank, especially you guys, you're great. There's a lot of people out there that I would love to thank, and yeah. Let's look at that freestyle score. That run was awesome. Absolutely. Well, it's good that you bring that up because the score for Crustacean is going to be a 30. So already, uh, drivers only have about 10 points to work with uh, in terms of trying to take that freestyle win. But here's someone that could very easily do it. It is Armando Barbosa, Monster Truck Reels in Northern Nightmare. I thought he was going to full sand straight out of Thunder Alley. You Goodness. know, at some point that might have to happen. Now that we only have 10 points to work with, but that's going to be a 10 point gap that is real hard to get into. I mean, Armando is, you know, I think his his uh, virtual monster truck career is a little bit overshadowed by the fact that, you know, he's mostly traveling from city to city, uh, filming for his amazing YouTube channel, this quality footage. But he is a fairly established. Oh, uh -oh there it is. Nice. I was just saying, you got to watch out where you land. Yeah, I mean, especially the sides. They're very, like, condensed. You know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of recovery room. Whereas in the center, I think there's a fair amount of recovery room if something like that goes yeah. wrong. 
And yeah, what you're saying with Armando, I mean, he's a very good driver. And, and, you know, I'll tell you, there is no tougher job in the world as someone who's also done the same job. No tougher job than going to mosh truck shows and filming them and putting them on the Internet. And I think we got a, a lot of props for that. But he's going to show that he's got a lot of driving oh, skills oh, as well. Oh, no! Save it! Come on! He's right there. <laughs> there it oh, is. No! Pull it out. Oh, oh man. I think he tried to kind of get that save going, but he couldn't get it done. Tough break, a phenomenal a, freestyle. It was short but sweet. Unlucky landing is really what it is. I mean, that's just the thing you got to watch out where you land. And unfortunately, he, he almost had it, but gravity was not on his side. But hey, he, he really knew what to do in that situation. Absolutely, fans. Give it up for Monster Truck Reels' Armando Barbosa. We'll be back with another freestyle run very shortly. Scores are coming in for Armando Barbosa. It's a 16 for Northern Nightmare. Unfortunately, not what he wanted to do. But coming out next for freestyle, let's give it up for Chadwick Deerfoot in Wolverine. You know, Chadwick is the veteran here oh! tonight. And look what he's doing. Here it is. You called it. He knows wow. what he has to do. I mean, Chadwick, I guess he's a veteran. He's been around just about every sort of Riggs of Rods league you can uh, possibly think of at a very high level, and he's not going to lay down for anybody here. Absolutely. I mean, as he, you I, said, and, go for it. I can tell you, he also wants to win because of that race against John Doe. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, as I was going to say, nice wheel to hit. He keeps taking this my breath beautiful. away. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at nice. that. That was nice. Shades of um, uh, Charlie Parkin. Yes, that's who I was thinking. Of. Shades of Charlie Parkin. Huge air. Goodness. That's again. He's he's got these calculated hits going down. He's he's not you know kind of exploring and kind of awkwardly figuring out the track. Yeah. He knows what he wants to do. And I mean, it, it's going to be interesting too. Oh, that was a tight spot. I think it's going to be interesting too because as the night starts to progress, we're going to see more and more obstacles added to the track. So Chadwick is making the most out of what there is on the floor currently. With about one minute remaining, and he lines up for the backflip. Perfect landing. Goodness. This is a great his run. Last 40, his last 48 seconds, he's going to really let it all out. Slap wheelie, beautifully done. This has just been a phenomenal night. <laughs> Huge air with moments like that. He I... wants to close that scoring gap as soon as possible. That's, that's what he wants to do. Well, I mean, I hate to ask the... Oh, goodness, what a twist. I hate to ask the obvious. Do you think that's going to put more pressure on... Oh, he's got a flat tire. Do you think that's going to put more pressure on some of the other drivers who haven't gone yet? I think they're going to take much bigger risks much more soon uh, in their runs. And another backflip. I, I mean, I think Chad was taking the perfect amount of calculated risks. He hasn't done anything that's hurt his truck yet. I mean, other than a flat tire, but it seemed to help him. With about five seconds left, he's basically got time for one more move. If he's going to make a bad decision, do it right now. Nice. What a way to finish off go. the run, Chad. Oh, and the drive shaft breaks. What a perfect time. Yeah, now he looks like a wounded animal out there. Oh. That Wolverine. Wolverine's been hunted. And what wow. a way to end the run. I mean, get your photo, uh, get your cameras out there. That's a perfect photo opportunity. 
What an incredible run. We're only like, what, this is the fourth truck out? I mean, this has been incredible. Fans, give it up for Wolverine Chadwick Deerfoot. Scores are coming in. It is a 33 for, uh, oh, excuse me, the El Tor Oh, uh, sorry, not El Toro. Look, I have got ahead of myself. Wolverine. So that is your new leader coming out next. Let's give it up for Tim Clapper in El Toro Loco. Driving the black El Toro Loco. As we were saying earlier in the show. Oh, and he's teasing the fans with the smoke. This is sick. That's the thing about these trucks. They have so much personality. You got to really go out there and show it off. Well, do you think that some of these like 3D body trucks have an advantage um, over the fans? Or sorry, an advantage to the fans over some of the more, dare I say, classic sort of looking trucks. Like say Lucas or Crusader. Well, I think, you know, we can look at monster trucks and they're almost kind of like, you know, motorsport superheroes in a lot of ways. And of course, we have, oh! oh my gosh, that's a big start. Wow. He got oh, lucky no. there. Oh, I thought he broke. Goodness, that was No, close. he just had to really hit the brakes. I mean, we have literal superhero trucks, of course, but I'm saying you know, these are like personalities. They, yeah. they get the fans, you know, interested because like they have something, they're not just a big truck with big wheels. Yeah. And that's what's so cool about it is the variety and the personality that comes with the trucks naturally. Nice wheelie. Typical Mark McDonald type move right there from Tim Clapper. And I, to add on to that point, I think as well, it, it, it appeals to, I would I would argue both generations. Obviously, mainly the younger generation. Nice air from Tim, right? Oh, no. That oh, was not that a was good a idea. Oh, goodness. That is not what he wanted to do. He's he able to something. keep yeah, going as long as he shows presence and control he's able to keep going for you fans but if at any point he's out of control we will have to unfortunately call it done there but so far he's making the most out of a broken truck uh oh it looks nice. like he has a broken maybe a broken ring and pinion up front too oh yeah i mean the truck is just not wanting to cooperate i think he's gonna have to try nah. and make the most out of the truck with 52 seconds left, what really can he do? Or he can do I mean, that. This is, like, this is like riding a bull right now. He's got to try and keep his bull oh. under control. And I don't know if there's much he can do. Do you think he can do a backflip? I think he's lining up not, for it. I don't have a lot of faith. But what, what does it matter what I Whoa! think? Oh, oh no. no. With about 34 seconds left on the clock. What a run from Tim Clapper. I know that's not what he wanted to do, but I can tell you this. He's put on a show for you Monster Talk fans. Give it up for Tim Clapper in El Toro Loco.
Schools are coming in for El Tor Lurker. Tim Clapper gets a 19. Again, not entirely what he wanted, but uh, Andrew, I gotta ask again. I think we have another donation. We do, in fact, have another donation. It's from Beam Monsters again with another $5 donation. They are now up to $115. Wow. That. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm honestly kind of at a loss for words for the amount of support that we have been given throughout this stream. I knew that you amazing fans at home were going to support this stream, but I never could have expected that we've done this much. Fan, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you from the bottom of everyone else's hearts that puts on this show. Before we get started with Freestyle, I just want to shout out the amazing people that have helped with this show. Uh, Jack Meredith, of course. Uh, my commentator helped uh, get some of these amazing graphics that you're seeing on screen now. Without him, we couldn't have this amazing production quality. Of course, Andrew, uh, the 12 Days of Giving campaign hoster, and some of the people behind the scenes working on this show, helping getting things run. Billy Badass, uh, aka uh, Richard Rulas, driver of Avenger, Ewan Ford, driver of Spider-Man, uh, even Danny Werewolf, driver of Manx D, the creator of these trucks. Without him, we wouldn't be able to do uh, this kind of show with these level trucks. Everyone and every single competitor right here, without them, this show wouldn't be what it is. But we are ready for Freestyle as coming out next. It is Metal Militia, Ethan Isaac. I'm excited to see this run. Oh! Major oh. speed coming down. Oh! Oh my goodness! Wow. That was a heck of a risk right there. Well, I mean, as we said, they've kind of got to take it. They have to capitalize on, you know, what we've seen from everyone else. I mean, look what Chadwick did. He started out basically the same way. Nice hit. Well, now is where you gotta think outside the box, because now we've seen all these really great, uh, great clean hits off these obstacles, how they're meant to be hit, and you gotta really come up with something creative now, or hope that you could pull a rabbit out of a hat with a weird landing or a bad bounce. Well, to quote, uh, I believe it might have been Frank Krimmel or Scott Douglas, you've gotta roll the dice. That's what Vegas is about, you know? You can change your luck, or everything can go terribly wrong. We've seen that with some of the drivers, and I think Ethan Isaac has rolled the dice, but he needs to keep rolling a few more. Nice jump. I suggest he bets on black right now. <laughs> he lines up for the backflip. Perfect backflip. Nice. Oh, there it's we go. Look, look at that. Shades of uh, Cole Vinard from real life. Yes, Cole Vinard. Is there anyone else? I swear there's more people that do that, especially around this time, or not entirely a few people that have done it oh taps the dumpster there 48 seconds left huge air. Big, big air oh no oh he lost front wheel drive right there and another truck gets another it I down. Th oh nice. nice you know jack i think that these drive you know i think these trucks do you think they can't oh take the landing oh that was beautiful oh my god there's the rabbit out of the hat right there. Wow. Well, yeah, they can only take so much abuse, of course. I mean, these trucks aren't built uh, oh! to be indestructible. Even oh. though you would think it is right there. I mean, it looks pretty durable to me. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you don't want that. What is he doing? It's easier to push than it is to pull, so at least it's the front wheel drive that's gone, but this is not helping him at all. He's got about five seconds left. He's going to have to make the most. And why not? Oh Do it my. again. And that is Pogo's time. It. It's over. Well, credit where credit is due, Jack. He did finish his freestyle run. And he's going to park it he right there. He did do it. Wow. Can't say it was easy for him. Well, do you think he has a chance of taking the lead? I wouldn't say so. I think really, you know, the truck being broken really hindered a lot of his performance. But, you know, I think that he's got a shot of, I'd say, second or third for sure. Well, fans, we're about to find that exactly out very shortly. Give it up for Metal Militia.
Skulls are coming in for Ethan Isaac in Metal Militia. It is going to be a score of a 29. So about, I think, third place. Coming up next, it's the man who won racing. The only man who can double down. Give it up for John Doe, Predator. John Doe. He's got a heck of a job to do out here. He's already, I think if, if he just stopped right now, he would have an incredible night. But he's not going to stop right now. He wants to go for uh, uh, for both. Oh, look at this. The ingenuity. That was awesome. That's the Rob French start of a run. You start with a big cross thread. So I think that's a good, I think that's a good strategy. We love Rob French. Hashtag Rob French reference. I'm sure Jack and I think, probably you know, <laughs> Sorry. With, with, with Predator, I mean, this is a legendary name. And people were kind of chuckling, like, oh, Predator, imagine if he wins racing. And he just proved all his people wrong. It's like, that's not a joke. He's going to come out here and show that this name is, is legendary. Oh. This is a guy who deserves to be respected for his contributions. Yeah. You know, being the creator of this truck. And John does, I think he's making him pretty proud right now. He's got a great run going. Oh, my God. Goodness, what a sin. And to your point, I wanted to say, I think it's, a, I, I think Predator is such an underrated truck, especially around the time of uh, when we're oh, theming uh, this event around. And even today, uh, you know, oh my god. Oh what? my gosh, what that was twist. quite something, wasn't it? I think, I, I was going to, I was trying to say, uh, I think both trucks play a part in the reason why Predator, I think, is such an underrated pick to do well in this event. I mean, we saw in racing, Predator is such a great racing truck, but it's a great freestyle truck. Not only that, we've got John Doe behind the wheel, and oh goodness, here we go. Oh! That's the best day of the night right there. Ugh. Oh, a hard landing. Hey, Jack. Brutal. Oh! Hey, Jack, there was some serious elevation <laughs> I'd say so, too. <clears throat> Are you sad that I said that? Oh, no. No, I was I was sad that I couldn't say what a twist in my M. Night Shyamalan voice. I mean, I mean hey, maybe next time. Maybe uh, perhaps, bribe perhaps. someone to do it. Oh, what a oh, cool look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, now, I mean, that's compl I don't think he was planning on doing that. That's very, very different. With six seconds left, I think that this is the best contender for taking the lead by far. Oh, oh man, look at oh. this. Oh, oh that's it. it. He that is it. it big time. Wow. And that is going to be it for John Doe in Predator. Fans, give it up. You can see the damage there on that truck. Fans, give it up for John Doe in Predator, your racing winner and your potential new leader. We will see very shortly.
ladies and gentlemen what an incredible run and i can confirm it is a new lead 34 for predator john doe takes the lead but coming out next it's probably one of my underrated picks to win here tonight it's trevor hellings in monster mart now i think my reason why not sure if i need to explain it but i'm going to anyway this truck is in my opinion especially tonight it's built for freestyle it looks ready and trevor wants to do well for the fans here in sam boyd stadium for the monster talk charity event raising money for the 12 days of giving campaign time starts with a great wheelie down the racing lane I will say, Jack, I think that he may have some troubles, especially in the turn, trying to turn quickly without flipping over. You see there, he's kind of like buttering in the turn a little bit, making sure that uh, he's able to you know, make sure he gets a grip on what he's doing right now. Going for a nice slap wheelie. Beautifully done. This is a great freestyle run that we're seeing so far. What a night of action in general. Can you get the slap really? Oh, a little bit. No, actually, I want to bring in here uh, Mr. Andrew. You're one of the judges tonight. You're also, again, I don't think I need to say it, the host of the 12 Days of Giving campaign. What are your thoughts about this event, and what are you looking for out here in freestyle? Man, I am so thankful to be here tonight. Um, mainly what we're looking for in freestyle, for oh. me as a judge. Wow, exactly like that. Stuff just like that. Big hits, big action, saves, just like that. That's the stuff that we're looking for as judges. Today, tonight was amazing. So far, the leader's doing great. Great donut, by the way. Yeah. These guys have been great. This run's been awesome. I'm really, really excited for what's to come. Well, he's got about 30 seconds left. Trevor Hellings behind the wheel of the Monster Mart. A phenomenal run right now. Absolutely sending it with 22 seconds left. I can't believe that we're almost at the end of part one of Freestyle. We have two more parts. Nice wheel stand up that little jump right there. He's got about 11 seconds left. I think he needs to end on a wow note. He's going to do it here. Nice little jump. He's got time for about one more move. I think he's played it very safe. He may not win, but he certainly put a phenomenal run down. Huge air leap. Rides it on the on the two wheels for a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, we got stuck on the cars. Well, if there was any time <laughs> to get stuck on the cars, it'd be the end of the freestyle after you've put these fans on their feet. Fans, give it up for Monster Mart with Trevor Hellings.
Schools are coming in for Monster Mart Trevor Hellings. It is a 26. It's a fairly respectable score. I'm sure maybe not what he wanted, but did fairly well. It's coming up next for Freestyle. Let's get loud for Richard Rulas in Avenger. Driving Jim Cola's prized truck. I mean, this truck has been around for a very long time and of course many iconic looks at that as time starts beautiful slap wheelie now richard he is one of my favorite competitors to watch he has a ragged edge driving style if there's anyone that could take the lead in freestyle from who's our leader i believe that was it's a John great turn predator. predator predator yes yeah. uh I, that was oh. a great air look at that you know what I have to say, Andrew, while you're up here in the booth, I think that, uh, you know, the effort, I think Avenger 2 is such a stable truck that it can really take a beating out here in Freestyle. Well, we're looking at it best. Like, this stuff is amazing. The amount of stuff that this truck has taken and is still oh! taking to this day. Look at that. Nice. Oh, goodness. I mean, we're it's hard landing, to like. But still really good. It's, it's hard to look at some of the stuff that these drivers are doing and... Oh, oh especially that hit there. Yeah, it's such a rough landing. Oh, that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Save it. What? Rolls it back over. Keep what, going. Oh, go, go. Save. Andrew is on his feet. I'm sure everyone is in the back. Lines up for the backflip. Little cross-eyes. Wow. Still it. Oh, look my at that. goodness. Oh, He's got some steering issues there in the front. What do you think oh. is broken? Honestly, <laughs> I have no idea. What? I, I, I mean, will... does it really matter? He's oh, still going to no. send it. He's going to destroy oh. it here. Save it. No. No. 26 seconds left. Give it up for Avenger Richard Rulas. Wow. What an incredible... I... <laughs> freestyle right there i mean he has put the fans on their feet i don't know if he's got anything else planned for us but i mean my goodness i wonder wow wow oh like i, I really need he's to out of his truck what's he doing <laughs> look at him go he's running what is he doing <laughs> he's running at about three frames per second like a powerpoint slideshow yeah, he's <laughs> he's getting in the pool. He's getting in the hot tub. He's taking a dunk. No, dude, I can't blame him out there. And that's a hair. Oh, yeah. Gun. Look I at can't that. blame him. He is hot in that seat. Look at look him. Look at that. Look at the fans. They're on their feet. What a run from <laughs> Richard Rulas in Avenger. Fans, give it up for Richard Rulas, the man, the myth, the legend in Avenger.
Schools are coming in for Richard Rules in Avenger. It is going to be a 29, so a tie for uh, third place. So that is going to be very interesting to see, as now I think they've actually added some freestyle obstacles out onto the track. Before we get to that, Andrew, I think you have another donation to shout out. We do. Thank you, Blair Lockhart, for the 15. Awesome. Hey, Blair Lockhart, he's the Blue Thunder driver. Hopefully we can get him out here for freestyle. Probably been fixing his truck, but thank you, Blair, so much for donating. At the very least, if you can't make it out for freestyle and your truck's still broken, thank you for donating. It goes a long way. Right, well, we're back to freestyle as we start on a brand new version. You can already see as we introduce Drew Darrow in Medusa. Look at that, Jack. They've added a camper and a box van to this track no shortage of junk vehicles here in vegas <clears throat> i will say though uh donations do not improve your freestyle score <laughs> whoa that was a huge leap now i do want to ask is it an advantage or a disadvantage with all these new jumps because let me put this to you um, I see it as both because on one hand these jumps are brand new they're fresh so they're probably a lot trickier to conquer but at the same time these new obstacles weren't available to other competitors so they can use these new jumps and these new crushable vehicles uh, to better their freestyle performance here tonight I'd say it's mostly an advantage because most of the jumps here are exactly the same. So you got two new things to work with. I think it's nothing to worry about. That's fair enough. At the end of the day, it depends on how the drivers tackle the course. And Drew Dara is doing an impressive job. Beautiful slap wheelie right there. Nice air right there. Right there. As nice. Medusa's... He's got a really good run going. A little bit of a sway bar tweak you can see right in there. One of, one of those uh, hard landings. Do you think that's going to affect him in freestyle or probably not? No. It's fair. As he lines up this for the back This may affect him right here. Oh! Ooh. Nice. I'll tell you, a sway bar tweak's not going to affect any of these guys. It has to be something real bad. And the hood's crunched a little bit. This is why I love these trucks. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. No. I was just meant to say this. Somehow that thing held up. This is why I love these trucks, because the damage on this is so surreal! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Wow! That was no comeback from that one. And that is the end of the run. Couldn't save it. What a run with 21 seconds left. Give it up for Drew Daro with an incredible finish to his freestyle run. For you land. I just really didn't have the mic going. Um, you know, that's what happens when some of the jumps are so so far close together because, you know, you you, you land in the valley and you got to try and, like, uh, you know, try and better yourself and put yourself in a, you know, you want to be in a rough position to try and get the truck a little upset. But if you can't capitalize on it, then unfortunately you do roll over. We're waiting for the scores to come in as we speak. One judge is given theirs. We're waiting for the total. It is going to be a 27 for Medusa. Not enough to take the lead as we wait for our next driver in freestyle.
schools are coming oh well, we've already done the schools i'm getting ahead of myself as coming up next for the freestyle competition is none other than you and ford behind the wheel of spider-man let's see what he has got for us i think ewan's a very underrated freestyle have you seen a lot of uh ewan's freestyles jack well, he's, he's been around this for quite a while, I and mean, I remember him being in the long game back in the day. He's really come a long way, and I think that with racing, I know he wanted to do, you know, a little bit better. He had some very close races, but freestyle, I mean, the door is wide open, but it's a very narrow gap to get through, unfortunately. Well, Spider-Man is such an accomplished truck that I think that maybe he has a little bit of extra pressure around him, especially with the... Uh, the revamped Spider-Man on the real live Monster Jam circuit, huge air. But I think that, you know, for fans, this older Spider-Man is what people, you know, th this is when, when they think of the Spider-Man Monster Truck, this is the one they think of. This one is so iconic that it's ingrained in fans' hearts. And I think Ewan's got a very important job of carrying that rep, um, that, <laughs> wow, huge air. I couldn't even get my words out. He's got to carry that uh, throughout his run here tonight. Lining up for another jump. Nice, Sky Wheelie. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you see at the top there, I'm sure you can. You can see that little roof flap flying up and down uh, on the top of the roof. That's just another cool addition of these trucks. Werewolf, Nerd Beam, make sure to download these trucks on simmonsters.com. Oh no! Oh, oh, that is a terrible wreck for Spider-Man. That is it. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> he does save I mean, that it, was but... like Talladega Nights. I mean, that is one of the gnarliest crashes I've ever seen. I That is going to be it. But, I mean, it's what we were saying. Rolling the dice, you've got to do that in Vegas. And I think he tried, and it just didn't quite work out. Fans, give it up for you and Ford in Spider-Man. Scores are coming in. It's a 28 for Spider-Man. And in the booth with me right now is the Spider-Man driver, Ewan Ford. I have to ask, are you okay, man? That looked rough. I gotta say, I'm calling it from the ambulance right now. And uh, <laughs> it's not looking too good. Oh, man. I think I, a metal pierced my heart or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, well... I'll have triple fusion heart surgery or something. I, think, I don't know. I think you have to get checked out at the hospital. Give it up for Ewan Ford, driver of Spider-Man. What an incredible freestyle. As we're not done with freestyle, we have another driver ready to go. It is going to be none other than Jaden H in the Lucas Oil Crusader. Uh, interested to see what he's got for freestyle here tonight. Especially after that crazy crash in racing. Nice. And leap to start off with. Didn't do the Chadwick approach and full center, but still, um, 
still did well. I had <laughs> moment trying to figure out what I was trying to say. Nice slap wheelie. Well, for any of these drivers, they can't take a moment to figure out what they're going to do. They have to just do it. Absolutely. It's a, I mean, driving miles of trucks and jet. Ooh, no. Oh, man. That is really a unfortunate. terrible break. With about 90 seconds left, that is the end for Lucas or Crusader, not the night he wanted. Fans, give it up for Jaden H. You know he wanted to do well for these fans in the Lucas or Crusader. Scores are coming in for the Lucas, uh, yes, the Lucas or Crusader. Unfortunately, it is only an eight, the lowest score tonight. But, you know, Jen really wanted to do well. And I think at the very least, you know, he's doing it for you fans. Give it up for Jen H. We'll be back with another freestyle run in just a minute. Coming up next for freestyle, it's one of the, uh, I'm excited to see this run. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ryan Poust in Captain America. This truck is an awesome looking truck and Ryan is a fairly established competitor, especially a bit recently with, uh, Roar SES and especially Controlled Carnage. But shout out to Tim, uh, who runs that league. Tim Clapper, you saw, and he's starting up with a donut. This is a good move. It's a safe move. People love donuts, and donuts are really underappreciated as far as driving is concerned. I think a lot of drivers don't think about doing it because it's a great way to kill time, but it's also a great way yeah. to show off your control of the truck. Absolutely. And I think that, you know, you need to stay, especially with the top score, correct me if I'm wrong, being a 30 four from predator nice lab really you really need to do something different like this to take the lead away from predator you've got to set yourself apart you've got to do something different but you've kind of got to as i've as we've said roll the dice but also play it you know safe you don't want to send it too early you've got two minutes oh that was a hard hit it worked out. Well, he's for him really there. making use of these wheel stands he's able to get. Well, I think because the truck suspension is just so well done that he's able to just pop it up from nothing. Nice slap wheelie, and he's walking it down Thunder Alley. Down that the is straightaway. impressive. Well, down the That's straightaway. That's nice. Excuse me. That was impressive. I think he's in contention, Jack. Wow. He's really got to finish strong here. This is this cannot be him going through the motions for the next 50 seconds. I think he really has to light the wick. I think he has to go, you know what? I've got to full send it. I've got to roll the dice, as we keep saying. He's really got to step it up in these last 40 seconds. And why not do that with a backflip? Everyone oh, else has done it. He They're in the way. Oh, it. can he save it? No! Oh! Oh! Oh, save. oh my. Okay. Wow. Okay. He really hey, got Mr. that. Mr. Official, thanks for giving him the benefit of the doubt. He, I mean, he had that at the last second and the, oh no. Uh oh, he broke something on that landing. It's over. And that is it with 16 seconds left. A little bit of a venue damage, but I mean, that was an incredible run right there. I was just saying before, 
they really, the officials, they really let him at the last second get that save uh, off the backflip. That was incredible. Fans, give it up for Captain America, Ryan Pals, putting on a show for you fans. Scores are coming in for Captain America Ryan Paust. It is a score of a 16, or sorry, a 30 from Ryan Paust. My apologies. Uh, and wow, I mean, we've had an incredible night so far. And Andrew, I think you uh, wanted something to say before we introduce our next competitor for freestyle. I would, I would, I would love to say something. Um, there is one person that has just been awesome this entire time. His name is Cutlass. He's on Discord. He has donated just him as a single person over one hundred and fifty dollars to the wow. donation. It, that's just incredible. Like. And and I, I asked him like why why do you want to donate so much money to this and he said there's two reasons one this is really helping out a lot of people and two um it's uh, this is funny the top ten gets a free design from me which is pretty funny because he's like oh I want to be like the highest rank to get something from you so <laughs> I th I just think it's personally funny but hey um very awesome that he decided to do that same thing with Beam Monsters those guys have been blowing up my phone with fives and tens for the last like hour or so <laughs> well i mean I, again i do have to say i appreciate every single person that has donated to this campaign both during the stream before the stream and hopefully afterwards because the 12 days of giving were about i think more than halfway through and there's still a few days left but coming out next for the first time tonight he has not made it out of your truck issues blair lockhart in Blue Thunder. And I think Blair too, correct me if I'm wrong, Jack, he's another fairly established uh, sim driver as well. He is, and I know that, you know, with this appearance here, he does not want to make this just, you know, a one disappointing appearance for that. He really wants to go out here and make something happen. I mean... When, when you're on such a big, you know, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk monster talk up or anything, but when you're on such a big stage like this, in front of thousands of fans that, you know, may not be too, fa you know, I think there's a good mix. There's a good mix of people that aren't too familiar with the virtual monster truck scene, and there's obviously a lot of drivers uh, that compete in this, that know who Blair Lockhart is, that know that he's a phenomenal driver. You really want to put on a performance, and not only that, you want to do it for charity. I mean, we have had such an incredible night here donating and raising money for the 12 Days of Giving campaign, and Blair Lockhart is throwing down an incredible freestyle run. Honestly, Jack, some of the best momentum of the entire night. Definitely. He's got to keep raising the bar is what he's got to do. I mean, you know, Predator's still having a healthy lead up there in, in the uh, hot seat. But I can oh. tell you, it doesn't mean it has to stay that way forever. These guys have to figure something out, though. Well, I think Blair Lockhart is doing the perfect thing because he's taking some good calculated risks, but he's also keeping the momentum going. 
that could have been trouble there, landing in that little divot in between uh, some of the freestyle jumps and the racing lane. Nice air once again. Oh, now wow. is the time he's going to really make those uncalculated risks, though, because he's only got 30 seconds left to try and get the lead. Well, that's kind of the point in time where, like, you know, the drivers are going to really like the wick and, and get the, you know, get the fans on their feet. You know, at this back point, the I think it's the ramp coming oh! us. Look at that. Look at that wheel. Oh! oh, man, that hurt. Wow. The whiplash of that. Goodness. And... He's lining up for the backflip with 11 seconds left. Huge over rotation. Oh, please, save it. There you go. Oh, and that's Oh, look at this. Ray going in reverse. In reverse. Oh, no. Can he save it? No, no, it's over. Well, he fills time anyway, so that is going to be the end of the run. I mean, wow. An impressive freestyle from Blair Lockhart. Fans, give it up for Blue Thunder with Blair Lockhart. Scores are coming in for, uh, I mean, wow. An incredible run from Blue Thunder. It is going to be a 32, which puts him in uh, third place. Yes, behind, let's have a look. We have Wolverine uh, with Chadwick Deerfoot in uh, third, oh, sorry, in second. And in first, as we said, as we keep saying, Predator John Doe. I mean, they all did this in the first half of freestyle. No one else has really seemed to get close. Do you think that uh, that drivers are going to struggle to try and uh, make the most out of this track as the night continues? Well, what I hope they don't do is start making those big risks early. Um, you got to hope for that kind of luck, but I think the problem with that would be you might have seen a lot shorter freestyles because people feel like, well, I have to do something crazy early, otherwise I have no shot but yeah. we'll see what these, people, these guys have planned. Well, speaking of someone that probably wants to do something crazy, let's give it up for Garrett Hansen in the Advanced Auto Parts Grinder as he is going to want to impress the fans here at uh, Sam Boyd Stadium for the World Finals as he's going to try and take the freestyle win here tonight. As he starts time with a nice leap right there. Fairly conservative start, but I like it. it down. <clears throat> a bit of a slower start to his freestyle, but you know, I mean, he's just started. He's easily got enough chance to improve it. Oh, look at that air. I think that's the that first time nice. that someone's really sent it on that particular side of that jump. Nice donuts as well. Nice air once and he used the rebound as well to help I me mean, as, the, as the shocks were springing out it really sprung him into the air big time and i have to point out too the sound on this truck first person to go for the camper nicely done uh, yeah you're welcome for those sounds 
I mean, the truck, it sounds so gnarly. It sounds so mean, you know, the trucks with the mufflers, they sound great. The trucks with these, I think this is an all-time uh, greatest sound of a truck. I think the only thing that fits more than this is the zoomy headers on top of the Gravedigger trucks. Perfect backflip from Garrett Hansen and Grinder. Yeah, we stand zoomies here. It's like a good fuzz pedal on your guitar, you know? <laughs> of course, I laughed at that, not realizing what that is, but it's okay. Oh, my uh, oh, God. Oh, wow, look out. Oh. Oh. Can you save it? Oh, my God. Oh, man. There's know. your rabbit out of the hat. 30 seconds left. We'll I see what he can do. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, he really messed that rear end up. Oh, no. He's dragging it along like a dead weight. Bad move, he's oh, going on. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. And that is some serious damage. He ground to a stop there. I mean, talk about a sudden impact. I mean, wow. He just messed the front end of that truck up completely. Fans, give it up for the advanced auto parts grinder with Garrett Hansen as we'll be back with scores for the next run. Or for this run. We'll be back with another run and scores in just a moment. Coming up next for, for, well, actually, before we get to that, scores uh, for the grinder, it is a, oh, we don't actually have the scores in at the moment. Well, we'll come back to that, actually. We'll get started with our next run. As coming out next, it is going to be Christian Lenude in Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Now, this one I want to watch out for. Wow! Immediate, I couldn't even bring up the timer he started that quick. That was cool. Christian's really talented in many, many ways. I'm looking, at, looking forward to see what he does out here. Absolutely. Christian, a great driver. He loves the Hot Wheels brand. And he oh. wants to do really well with some huge air right there. Make his way back around here. Nice air. Oh, a little bit of a tricky that, that's, spot right that there. That was tough. He but chose a smart move. But he's doing well. And he's doing he's doing a, everything that you kind of need to do. I think he needs a big wow factor. That's going to do it. Oh, man. Oh. I think he this... knocked something off of there. I think well, was a spoiler. I was just about to say the spoiler. Nice air. And, and speaking of the truck's look, I think that this is one of the most iconic looks for a truck, especially around this time period, and definitely one of the uh, fan favorites. Nicely done. 
And, and Christian, it's got a big mouth on it, too. I mean, who doesn't love the metal teeth on the front of that truck? 40, uh, 45 seconds left. Christian's having a great run. He's doing everything he needs to do. Ooh, of course, you gotta always do wall. more. Well, he has 35 seconds left to make the most! Oh, man. Huge leap. Oh, oh hard landing, too. Lining up. Oh, my goodness! Oh, that was a... Can he, can he get Ooh. out of this? That was not a good move. He's out of it, though. That's gonna put a statement on the judges' scorecards. Lining up for the backflip immediately. Oh, that was good. And that was good. Just whips it right in there. No time wasted. Textbook Scott Butard. That. Oh, oh my God. no. Oh. Oh, and he's wow. he's still on all four wheels, no, but sure. on the inside he's got to be hurting. Fans are gonna. Or not the fans. Excuse me. The officials. I mean, I think that truck's kind of done. I can't really see what's wrong with the yeah. truck. But if the officials allow him to continue. I don't know. He's only got three not seconds. Really sure. And he's he's gonna going. He's going. He's got time for one more move. Let's see what he's All got. Right. All right, big mouth strikes again. Here we oh. go. Oh! Oh, he's over. Oh no way! Don't tell me. <laughs> that was that was great. Are you Look at kidding that. Me? Look at that. Christian Lenude, my man. He's out of the truck. Look at him. He's getting up. Wow. That that is that's a proud man right there. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Christian Lanude, driver of the Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. Alrighty, so we now finally have the scores for Grinder. It is a 26, but the score for Team Hot Wheels Firestorm is a 35, your new leader. And speaking of which, we have the guy that has taken the lead right here in the booth, Christian Lanude. How are you feeling after that incredible freestyle run that you just had? Well, back's a little bit of uh, back is in a little bit of pain after that last big hit, but other than that, I'm feeling hyped. You know, I've got the lead. You know, I just heard back from my crew that I've got a big bag of Hot Wheels in the back, and I'm about to go grab those to give them out to the fans in the crowd, just so I, they can leave home with a little extra something. Christian, I think that truck's gonna go out in the bag as well. <laughs> hey, maybe you should put some of the fiberglass pieces that have come. Up. Hey, maybe even the spoiler. Give the spoiler to the fans. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, man. <laughs> well, nerds donated either. Well, congrats on that too. Uh, I, I've got to congratulate you, man. Great job. We'll be back with another run as we get as we wind down freestyle to our top four. Christian Lanude takes the lead. We'll be back with another freestyle run. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started with the final four in freestyle, Andrew, I believe we have another donation. And that is correct. Thank you to Mushy Zachman. Happy holidays. $15. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the donations, uh, Mushy Zachman. But we have our final four in freestyle. I'm excited because guess what? 
we have Grave Digger the Legend, Amari Nuanes, a fantastic competitor. He really wanted to do well. And you know what? He's also donated to this cause as well. So, I mean, what better way to close out Freestyle with the top four, Grave Digger the Legend, Son of a Digger, Max D, and Grave Digger. That's a lot of digging going on. <laughs> And probably a lot of destruction while we're at it. I mean, if there's anyone that wants to do well, it's Amari, it's Marcus, it's Danny, and it's Sean. Time starts now. Huge air to start off with. Big nosedive. Yeah, he, he, held, he held back a little bit there. We'll see him probably go much bigger soon. Maybe he's... I might be a little like right here. A technicality sort of thing where he wants to cross it up and do something well. And also, just to point out, we have actually added another jump that Camper got destroyed by, I forget who it was. We've actually now brought out a, another box van that you can see just there. He went past with all the fans and signatures that we got during the pit party today. Oh my goodness! Oh my. Oh no! Uh oh, oh! He's, he's, is he gonna keep it together? <laughs> No. no, he won't. That is it. With about 86 seconds left on the clock, that is not what he wanted to do. But you know he gave it his all for these amazing fans. Give it up for Amari Nuanes in Grave Dig of the Legend. Scores are coming in for Grave Ticket the Legend. Unfortunately, it's only a 13, but we have our top three. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Marcus Santana in Son of a Digger. And if there's anyone that wants to try and do well, it's Marcus, because he lost in the first round. And I think he could have been a favorite to win. Uh, if he hadn't have had that unfortunate moment in racing where he you know, left a little late, or I don't know what was going on, to be honest. Whatever was happening with the, uh, the, uh, the starting train. That or the truck itself. It, I mean, it could be anything. We really didn't know from him, uh, from Marcus himself, what was going on. Whoa. Time starts with one of the biggest air leaps of the night. I'll tell you, we're not going to have to worry about any of those troubles right now. I'm sure he's got his A game on. It's just a matter of how this run plays out. Well, you know he wants to burn it down. You know he wants to put on a phenomenal performance. He is one of the last trucks to go out here. We still have Danny Werewolf and Max D. We still have Sean Ryan in Grave Digger. And I will say now, don't go anywhere after the end of Freestyle. We are going to try and interview the winner, whoever that might be. But more importantly, we do have something very special planned for you fans that we will have after Freestyle. So make sure to not leave your seats, not leave your couch after the commencement of freestyle but right now marcus santana is performing an incredible run right now very clean and calculated so far oh. look at him walk it all the way down that ramp that was nice <clears throat> i mean it's the positioning it's the talent i mean i don't know what to say it's the truck it's everything marcus santana is putting everything together for a really clean cut run can it beat christian i mean he's only got about five points to work with 
Nice air. He's gotta leave. He's gonna leave it all on the track if he wants to try and match what Christian did. Oh! Oh, that's a good way to do and it. Downside. Perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better landing there. He's broke something though. Something's broken. Sit. In the rear end, something's broken. Oh yeah, yeah. I see it now. Yeah, oh. Tyrod. Oh no. Tyrod's busted. Can he, can save, he save this? It? Yes, he can. Typical Ryan Anderson save right there. You know what? He's just gonna slam it into jumps and see what he can make the most out of the broken truck with 30 seconds left. He's about to go full boogie tilt. Copywritten. Oh, oh sorry, Tyler Reyes. Oh, nice. Oh no. This that whole rear end is oh. falling out of that truck. There's really nothing he can do about it. But he's got he's got a good uh, set of wheels up front at least. <laughs> he's trying. He's just gonna. Oh, he's got it locked up. Gonna locked up uh, oh! planetary, and that is the end with about six seconds left. The judges have a tough just point on right their there. hand. Try and I mean, wow, what an incredible run! <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that run. How do you? I, I don't know what to say, Jack. Do you have anything else that you want to add about this incredible run that we just saw? I think that not filling the time hurt a bit, and also the fact that the truck was very unwieldy at the end. But I think that he took some incredible calculated risks there. That jump, that that uh, transfer, that coast to coast jump, that was really spectacular. And unfortunately, it did break the truck in the process. But that was a real masterclass of of being able to know where you're going to land. And maybe he didn't even know where he was going to land, but it, it was really good. Absolutely. Fans, give it up for Marcus Santana. We'll be back with the final two freestyle runs and the score for Son of a Digger. Scores are coming in for Son of a Digger, Marcus Santana. It's going to be a 30, so Christian, uh, Christian Lenude, excuse me, still takes the lead. But coming out next for Freestyle, it is none other than Danny Werewolf in Max D. This guy has won in this venue before. If you remember TLG Season 1, he was your freestyle champion. Now he's going to be out in a truck that's built for freestyle. Well, let's take a moment to appreciate the chrome body on this truck. Look at that. He's putting the hands out the window. It, it looks black, but I think that's just the reflection of the beautiful night sky uh, reflecting on this chrome body right here as he's going to start time with a big jump. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of a smaller one, but... He's got the sparks to help him out. Nicely done. You gotta love these effects here, like we were seeing with El Toro Loco. I mean, it's just, it just, you know, an extra personality added to your truck. Oh, yeah. Well, I have to ask as well. Oh, nice air. That, you know, do you think that Denny, I mean, he's the creator. Oh, my goodness. He's the creator of these trucks. He's driven these trucks the most oh, out of nice. everyone. Do you think he has a big enough chance to take uh, the freestyle win away from, say, Christian Lanoud or whoever else is left?
I'll take that as a, as a maybe. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to You're old do something for a very quick second. I mean, it's hard to say. We're so early in the run. But as far as like his experience, and obviously he has championship experience in the same venue. Yeah. Um, with a front engine oh! truck, no oh! less. It's just a matter of how he uses this. He's got 63 seconds left. Well, I'll tell you what. He's had one of the best uh, starts to the run out of all of them. Sure, he may not have had a crazy highlight yet, but he's had incredible momentum and huge air like that. That's a good highlight. With 50 seconds left, he is th he's he's doing everything he needs to do. He's, cro he's crossing up the track. First person to go for that jump right there. He's having an amazing run right now. Oh! Oh, this is good. Look at that. No! Oh! Can he save it? Ooh. Oh! Oh! He, he knocks something out of there. He I think his fr yeah, front wheel drive's yeah. gone. Front wheel drive's gone. He's got a broken sway bar, I'm sure. 30 seconds. Actually, this thing doesn't have sway bars. It's a coil over shock. 30 seconds left. I think he's going to try and make the most. He's putting the hand out the window. Tried to get Rear a turn drive going. Rear wheel drive cyclones. And you know Couldn't what, Couldn't quite do it. Might be the shock that's destroyed as well. Nice. Classic match run going so far. Well, I can tell you what. He is He's nice. throwing down. Oh! Oh, I don't no know if way. it's going to work out oh, for him. No. no. Oh, my. Oh. Almost. If he had have gotten that, I think he could have had a chance to take the lead away for Christian Lanude fans. Give it up for Danny Werewolf in Max D. Scores are coming in for Max D. It's a 33, but we have one more truck remaining for freestyle. Let's get loud for Sean Ryan in Grave Digger. The first time we've seen him tonight, and he's starting off big too. Wasting no time. He's the last one to go. He cannot waste oh no. a single moment on this track. He's going to roll the dice to take the win away from Christian. Not only that, he isn't driven at all here tonight. So he really wants to make the most out of this time here in Gravedigger. He, uh, he wasn't able to go for the racing championship. He's got one he can go for. I Ooh. know he's going to really gun for it. Oh, wow. That was a weird landing. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I think maybe the, the stack kind of just threw him off in a weird direction. Not I got some metal on metal contact, oh, I think. My goodness. There we go. There's some serious elevation homes. I've said that twice now, and I don't regret either of it. Whoa! I don't regret either of it. Going for a oh, slap wheelie. Look at this. This is, this is a big move right here. He's going to ride it. Wonderful. Oh, that was impressive. That was nice. Yeah, that, he, he made the most out of that hit for sure. I really think that he has the best chance out of every Whoa. driver to take the lead. Oh, it that was great. a minute of nonstop... <laughs> like action. He's uh, he's got some sway bar issues, but it's not gonna stop him. No, I mean it's Gravedigger. Team Gravedigger, they don't stop unless that truck is in pieces. Ooh! Don't threaten me with a good time. We're gonna see how this run plays out. Forty-five <laughs> seconds left. Backflip. Perfect. Nice. What an incredible run from Sean Ryan behind the wheel of Grave Digger. Nice air, little bit of lag. I'm glad Good. I'm not a judge right now. This is a, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Absolutely. 30 seconds left. I, I, you know, as you said, I would hate to be a judge right now. Oh, oh, that was a little bit of an awkward S hit there. Smacks it. Uh oh, man. This is gonna be something oh, here. Oh no. Oh wow! Oh, wow! I mean, he took How that. How he survived that, I have no idea. But that was great. He's got has about ten seconds left to really make the most Whoa. out of this run. The 
biggest air of the night. Oh! Save it. Can he save it? No, he's oh. really wiping out. Oh, wow. That is it. I almost thought he was going to land it. Wow. Yeah. I would Man, hate that to was, be that was something. A, that was be... ending on a, on a heck of an exclamation point. Absolutely. I didn't remember that was just talking over you. I would hate to be Andrew or Ewan right now, our two judges. Wow. Fans, give it up for Sean Ryan in Gravedigger. We'll be back with the scores in just a moment. Alrighty, fans, I have the scores right here, and I think by one point, which is basically all other than the tie between Manx D and Wolverine, uh, part of our uh, top, I think, five is all a one-point gap. Ladies and gentlemen, your freestyle winner is... Is Sean Ryan in Gravedigger? Sean, you're standing up on your truck. I have to ask, how are you feeling after that incredible freestyle run ending off tonight's amazing show? Well, you know, honestly, uh, the adrenaline's still running through my body. I'm sure I'm going to feel it in the morning after that hard hit. Um, you know, we were disappointed the team couldn't make it out for racing. We had a lot of problems with the truck, pulling it out of the trailer. Uh, things happen, but we're here. we got out for freestyle, and uh, I think we're going to send the fans home happy. Absolutely, Sean. I, ha I have to ask, what was your mindset coming into free... Oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, I have to oh, ask... Dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> how, how are you feeling after that incredible freestyle that you had? And what was like your mindset coming into freestyle? My mindset was to make sure that truck did not go back in the trailer in one piece. I was disappointed not to go into racing. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of fans, a lot of the young kids, you know, come to see the black and green wrecking machine. And uh, I plan to deliver and put that truck in the trailer in about three different pieces. Absolutely. Well, Jack, before we get ready for something action-packed, was there anything you'd like to ask Mr. Sean Ryan or say about his freestyle? You know, Sean, did you have a real strategy going into that run or was it just winging it from, from the get-go? Other than that first hit there, uh, sending it off the back of that... Uh, the box sack there i had no plans whatsoever um it was hit whatever's in front of the truck and hope it worked it seems like it worked out pretty well well i, I would to, say so thank you I, I would have to give once again a massive congratulations to both uh john doe and sean ryan for their wins here for the first ever monster talk charity live event but i know everyone's getting a little tired but trust me you don't want to miss what's coming out next Stay tuned. We'll be back with some pretty epic stuff. Maybe a double backflip. Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> Get ready. The carcass of the A's and the Raiders are coming out. Yeah, definitely. Here they go. <laughs> I don't I'm know what. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the Max D Encore. This is going to be absolutely incredible. See the Sean Ryan card is still there. We have got three Max Ds. We're going to see two to start off with. But that's something very special planned. And look at that. It's Max D number six and Max D number four. It's the invisible trick right there. It's a pretty cool trick right there, I must say. Oh boy. There's some issues with the Maxi. What's gone wrong with the Max D? Stay tuned, we'll be back in just a second. Alright. Oakland took. So, I think we've solved the mystery of the invisible, um, Max D. Um, the invisible hey, listen, Max man, listen, listen. On behalf of Oakland, we had to take someone from Vegas. We took a Max D, but they got another one out there. 
Well, I think they've brought back out the Mangsty from the Encore or something else. No, they're identical. Nice. So we've got Mangsty. Pretty, pretty cool, I must say. Jack, I have... Oh! He almost rolls it over. That could have been catastrophic, rolling over before he's even made the jump. What are they lining up for? I think they're... Maybe like a coordinated backflip of some sort? Looks like it to me. Andrew, what do you think? I think they're going for a coordinated backflip. Like, look at that. That one was already there before. You guys didn't notice that? Well, they had Can't see it over, over the other, other backflip ramp. Well, they blocked it off during freestyle. Let's see if they can land it. They've got the sparks going. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh! Oh, wow. Look at that. And one of them rolls over. I think that might have been Denny. And Tim is going to hey. park it up on the back. I believe that's Tim. That or it's Denny. I'm not entirely sure which one is which. But we can see in the back here, this is the stunt truck. This is Richard Rulas, the Avenger driver at here in Max D. Now, for those wondering, well, Jackson, why is the Avenger driver driving Max D? Well... Richard Rulis is a huge Max D fan, and Danny was like, you know what? I want Richard to perform whatever it is that they are lining up for. Maybe some sort of big backflip, like a double or something? I'm not going to speak too soon. I'm just going to wait and see what happens here. And then the other Max D's lining up down there. I'm At this point, I think I'm more perplexed as what that other Max D is going to do. We await to see what happens. We have Richard Rulas and Max D. The other Max D. One flipped over in the corner. Get your cameras out, everybody. Now's the time. Get your pictures ready. We're about to do something crazy. Huge jump for Max D. The other one's trying to double and he lands it. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Look at that. That was, that was wow. nice. Fun to, that was from the book. Perfect. Well, you know what they're doing? Oh, they're yeah. just going to freestyle. This is Max D. 10 years of Max D. They're going to throw it down for you Monster Jam fans. You Monster Talk fans. I mean, we've just had an incredible night of freestyle right now. And just a night it's in general. Oh! Everything. Look at that. That's Look at beautiful. That. Oh! oh! Wow. Hey, Richard's over. He's, he's over. All right. We'll see how this plays out. Well, we One more know, left to trash. We still don't know who this Max D is. Because I'm trying to figure out if it's Danny or if it's Tim. Whoever it is, they are throwing it down. Oh! There we go. That was some serious elevation, Holmes. Nice air. And he's oh, still look at this! It. That was what a twist. Wow. That was incredible. <laughs> what a guy for makes one of the first here. again. Wow. I mean, oh, and he's broke. Oh, so rear wheel drive's gone. And, <laughs> and, and I think that's he's going to turtle it. Yeah, there you go. What an incredible night of action. I don't even know what to say. He's going to put the sparks on. I like that. I mean, I, I would too. That stuff was hey, awesome. It's no rap attack, but it was pretty good. <laughs> Fans, give it up for all three of these drivers. Tim Clapper, uh, Richard Rulas, and Danny Werewolf. What an incredible night we've had. Now, before we take the stream off the air, I want to ask any final thoughts from Jack and Andrew about tonight and the amazing night of action that we had. We'll start off with Andrew. Your thoughts about this incredible event that we've had here. You know, I think this event was just amazing. And the opportunity that you gave not only these drivers, but your big fan base to watch this awesome carnage happen is the best thing that's happened probably on your YouTube channel, in my opinion. But here's to say something. We donated from this live stream $200 to Toys for Tots. That's incredible. I mean... I, I couldn't have think of, of a better outcome for this incredible event. I mean, I, I have my thoughts, but I want to reserve them after I ask Jack 
you've come in here to help commentate, you help put together this show with the amazing production quality that we see on screen. I have to ask, what were your thoughts about this event, and how do you think it turned out in the end? Great show for a great cause. Can't ask for much more than that. Absolutely. Fans, thank you all so very much for tuning in for all three hours and 28 minutes. It went for a lot longer than I probably would have expected, but I mean, we did it for a good cause. Thank you to every single competitor, driver, tour host, campaign manager, uh, graphics maker, commentator, fans, I don't even know, just everyone. Every single person that was part of tonight, you guys rock. Thank you so much for the amazing support for this event. And we'll definitely be doing this definitely as a yearly sort of thing. I cannot wait to be back for next year to do something like this once again. Fans, again, thank you so much. Regular content coming soon. But I do want to congratulate Sean Ryan and John Doe on their incredible wins tonight. And for the final time, thank you all so much for tuning in to the first ever Monster Talk charity live event for the final time tonight for Andrew uh, AK Skinner for Jack Meredith and I'm Jackson Morris once again from all the crew from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.